in a recent video I had I had a comment from someone asking for a flight to Lake Geneva. So that's what I'm doing here today. I've had enough experience. Oh, this bus just backed into my M20. That's awesome. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they asked me to overfly uh, Lake Geneva. I think it was on a video where I flew over uh, Kenosha, something like that. Um, but yeah, I was going to give that a try. So we are in the Carinado M20R Ovation, which is a Mooney M20. And you should be able to see both the simulator and the sectional. So um, today, obviously, just PFR, um, unless I was on bad sim for ATC coverage in the Midwest and it was active. I don't think I'm going to do much fat sim. I think uh, I think I'll probably do some pilot edge once I can start doing uh, four flight as well. But this is the airport that I fly out of normally. Um, I am about halfway through a private pilot license. I'm not flying the Mooney, the, the Mooney M20 for the license. I'm flying um, a 172 for that. But uh, the Mooney M20 is higher on my list for things that I might consider buying in the future. And it's just faster than the 172. So uh, it still has the six pack. It, it is perhaps a little bit more complex, but um, you know, uh, buying the M20 that I think just recently got posted on the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator Marketplace the physics in these uh, payware planes seem to be a lot more realistic. So, uh, you know, until something else comes out that I want to mess with, I think I'm just going to do this for now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the Milwaukee buildings are melting or are actually uh, from the satellite imagery. I've uh, had about a coin flip chance of that happening either way, so... What we're going to do today is uh, take off out of uh, Timmerman. You can see on the section we're taking off out of Timmerman. I am not, I don't think I'm going to use GPS until the end. I might not at all. Um, so the idea is to take off of, out of Timmerman um, to the uh, northeast. And then we want to climb above Milwaukee Class Charlie airspace. Then we'll fly down along the Lake Michigan coast to about... Um, probably Racine, and then we will overfly the Racine airport. <clears throat> then we'll go uh, west from there, do a few orbits around Lake Geneva, and then land in Burlington. There are a few smaller airports around Lake Geneva, but uh, from what I've seen is that they're in the sim, but some of them are just outright closed. Uh, others are private. So I'm just going to fly into Burlington at the end, which I know is definitely one of the um, uh, one of the more used GA airports in the Milwaukee area. So uh, anyway, let's get this started. Uh, what I really like about this is, and you know, I should be going through the checklists, but it's not as exciting, and I can do that in real life. Um, maybe sometimes I will. Right now, I don't really feel like it. So all I have to do is go onto this little iPad here, press ready for taxi, and it should start up. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this to our northeast heading, so I'll set it to 4.5. Um, actually, yeah, four or five is pretty safe. I don't want to nick that uh, Milwaukee airspace. So in the sim, it said that Timmerman is wind calm. We're going to plan on an altitude of, I mean, let's not get crazy. Let's just do 5,500.
that way the scenery would be better. I could go to 65, but um, when I do the, the views of Milwaukee, I want them to be really nice. So um, more zoomed out would not be as nice. So I don't need to mess with that until I'm ready to hand it off. And I'll be ready to hand it off when I want to get some shots. So again, we're going to take off to the northeast, uh, climb to where we're sure we're going to get over the 4,700 foot Milwaukee Charlie shelf, and then go south to uh, Racine, and then cutting at Racine. So I don't think I need to set anything else at the moment. We are ready to taxi. I am not doing in game ATC. So, and uh, wind's calm, which means that I can go off out of any runway. I'm going to go off, uh, I'm going to go off out of uh, whichever one favors actually where we're going. So, I would want to do four, because that's going to align best with our climb. And I believe that is to our left and behind us, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no, 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 let's think about this. Um, actually, we can look up the map. So let me take a look real quick and remind myself how to taxi there. Oh, I can take uh, Charlie all the way down. So I'll turn right, turn right on Charlie, go down to or left and then take off. Great. Typically when I've flown out of there I've uh, taken off on 2-2 uh, two, two right but uh, and a lot of times 3-3 three, three right but today we're going to be 4 left. So yeah I'll turn right, I'll go to Charlie, I'll go down to 4 left. Great. Alright. Uh, here we go. So parking brake off. A little bit of power. turn right onto the taxi line. And we'll follow this right turn here as well. We should be on a Charlie, because there's two two right, so we need to get to the other end of this runway. So this should be Charlie. Faster. I'm gonna taxi probably faster than I would in real life. Sock is calm as expected. I believe all the traffic on the left there was probably all of the people flying around Chicago on this Saturday. So that makes sense. This is, I believe, the grass runway. And I can pull back the power. We've got enough speed here, momentum. the uh, whole short line here. And we can pretty much slow all the way down. Okay, so now we would do our run up and before takeoff checklist, but again, what's great is I will just press ready for takeoff and that will do it for me. One annoying thing is it does not turn off your taxi lights. So I have to do that. Um, but other than that, and it also turns on the parking brake. So I'm going to turn that off again. There it goes. Uh, and I'm ready to go. Cool. Um, rotation speed for this, I've been doing 75 to 80. Uh, so I'll do 75 for rotation speed and uh, initial climb 85 
uh, speeding up to 105 as we bring out the flaps. So 75, 85, 105. All set. And we'll remember uh, we wanted to turn to 045. However, we are going to be taking off at about 040. So we won't have to turn much, which is really nice. When it's calm, we can take whatever one we want. Normally, uh, Tournament is a class Delta uh, airport. So we would call Tower in real life. But the in-game ATC in this is awful. I choose not to use it. Alright, we are four left as we anticipated. Let's go. Air speed's up. Our engine gauges look good. 
stop at about 55. That seems fine. 75%. 2400. Let's get our outside view. See how it looks today. Belted buildings. Great. Maybe we're just not like close enough to it or something, but that is.
that point, right up here, we'll go ahead and make the right turn. All these people are around the Chicago area. There's our scene up here, you can see the uh, runway right here. So once we're past the point out here, I will turn 250. This should point us about towards Lake Geneva. I was just sort of guessing based on the uh, sectional. So let's uh, let's get that up here. So we're seeing right here, pointed about this way. We'll come make a few laps around Lake Geneva. Seats here, out here, make a few laps around the Geneva, and then we'll come back up to the land and go. That is the plan. So now we just wait to see how the Geneva and I will zoom out a little bit more. Or I guess that's about as much as it will be. We're coming up on I believe the road here is going to be I-94 ahead. Yep, we're going
Oh, there's a lot of people out in, like, um, I guess that's Madison today. Some closer traffic, I think, over the left here. around this. Uh, I think I'm going to attempt to fly it from the outside for a little while. One of the things we're going to do, though... Oh! I do not have to have landing lights on at the moment. So we'll turn those off. Not that it really matters too much. And yeah, once we get up here, because we're kind of pointed on the left, we'll do some orbits around here, maybe some orbits around here as well, which is that other body of water. And then we'll come back out. Uh, Burlington should be around here somewhere. Yeah, it seems good. Uh, anyways, we've got uh, left fuel tank 43, right fuel tank 48. So we're going to switch to the right fuel tank. This I might pull back to 2300 RPM on the cruise. So let's do that. It's close enough. And we'll lean out a little bit. as well, but that's fine. Alright, so it's fake fuel anyways, right? Yeah, we are pointed exactly where we want to go. Because this should be in Lake Geneva right up here. And this might the lake up there for sure. Ah, Burlington's over 
over to the right. That makes sense. So it's over there somewhere. Alright. So we'll go orbits around here and then come back to Burlington. Uh, while we're over here, we'll do the orbits. We'll set the autopilot for a second. We'll figure out the weather at Burlington and we'll go into Burlington. Seems good. So yeah, Burlington should be over here somewhere. But we are interested in this. So yeah, we're going to come around to the south of Lake Geneva. We're going to do some orbits and then we'll come back up here. Actually, I'd like to go. Oops, there it goes. I'd like to go down to 25 to maybe get a closer view of the outside angles. So let's do. Well, let's start up here and then see how it looks in my whole switch. But I am gonna. I am gonna switch to manual control here. So uh, autopilot off, please. And outside.
nice turn around this point here at the bottom, not at the uh, west rather. Descend a little bit more. Five is gonna look good. Smooth air, it's okay to be a little bit of that yellow arc there. And here's 25. Yeah, that looks a lot better. You can kind of see more stuff. That's what I was trying to do. Ooh, that's the main business area. And I lost a lot of altitude. 
that maneuver. Pick it back up. a little bit um, a little 
little bit more situated here. We lost a little bit of altitude on that. So we'll just go to full throttle here. And if I head northeast, I actually do not need to gain a lot of altitude here. But if I head northeast, I should be able to get to Burlington. Some altitude gain is fine. Actually, it's not because I saw so pull back some power. down trim so that we don't gain too much altitude and then try to check Burlington weather. Um, I think we can do it in the sim. Yeah. Good calm, which means we can go whatever we want. Uh, reset the altimeter. Calm. So as soon as we see it, we can just find a runway and land. But if we look at um, here, do they have? No, they don't have a runway uh, or an airport diagram on there, and that's fine. So, but it looks like there's one that's kind of faced to the southeast. So if we come in from the northeast, sorry, northwest rather. So let's turn. Oh, did I already pass it? I already passed it on my GPS. So we're going to turn around to the left. Because I'm almost like directly over it. So we'll take, <laughs> take out some. See if we can see it if I straighten out here for a second. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'll come around and land on that one. Fair enough. I'm really far away though, so we'll just do a really long base turn, I guess. So is that it? Yeah, so we'll just do a huge left base. And that's fine. So it's not paying attention to where it is. What's the elevation? The elevation is 780. So I'll go down to 18. Right now we're just losing some speed, which is totally fine. And we're coming up on 18. So a thousand above. Get that long left base in here. Some power to put the gear down. Using more altitude than I wanted 
to more power. Where's the airport? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I can shoot for that. Great. Flaps one. Actually, I'll take both flaps now. Slow down quite a bit. Full flat. Because we want to come in at seventy five on full flat, so we need to slow down. A so I'm going to go to idle, and I can bring in more power if I need to. Got a nose up to get down to 75. Yep, it's coming in now. So that'll work great. I'll bring in power if it gets too low. This is looking really good. Give me a little bit of power. Not on the center line at all. That's fine, I guess. Park over here, I guess. Turn the flaps up. 